What happens when we die? Well, I dedicated this entire playlist to that subject. And just as in last week's video, I do have another story where somebody died and then jumped back in time a little bit to get a second chance. I already recorded plenty of those stories, but this one is also special because just like in last week's video, here we do have a testimonial of what happens in between the dying and then the jumping back in time. It was instant for people. There was no kind of out of body experience in between or that rarely happened. Last week we had the story about the sorting wheel, as Neville Goddard may have called it the wheel of recurrence. And in today's story, we also have testimonial of someone who went on the other side. That person also got a glimpse of all of the different lifetimes and different realities that are existing parallel to this one. This man, he did not see a wheel, but still, it is a very similar story. If you haven't watched last week's story, about the sorting wheel, the wheel of recurrence, please pause now, go to the Death Seers playlist, you will find a link below and watch that story. But now let's listen to today's story. I died, but my death turned out to be a glitch. I don't want to get into the details about the leading up to because it was extremely traumatic, but I'll describe the experience from the point when I died. Have you ever been watching a TV show or movie and got so caught up in the story that you forgot that you were sitting there watching it? And then a commercial comes and you're snapped back to reality like, oh yeah, I was watching a show. That's what dying felt like to me, at least initially, that my entire life was a silly show I was focused on and forgot that it was simply a distraction from what was really happening. It was the most frightening thing that has ever happened to me because it felt familiar. I was not religious, I was agnostic at best, but a better description of my beliefs would be I never effing thought about it. Huge paradigm shift. I had something familiar to PTSD from it afterwards. I didn't speak to anyone for probably a week trying to figure out what it was that I experienced and trying to make sense of it and how I should view life now that I saw these things. Here's the gist of my experience. I fell out of the third dimension into another dimension. It's hard to explain. I could still see the visage of my last images and the people around me looking at me scared, freaking out. I could see everything from all angles and time. I saw an infinite amount of other views of the same experience with small differences. People looked a little bit different. Objects looked a little bit weirder. These were all arranged together like a movie fractal. Time was solid. I could look into my past and see random events that happened to me when I was a kid obscure stuff that I recognized but never thought about again. My life experiences as I chose them formed an object. To me it looked like a loaf of bread, but it wasn't actually a loaf of bread. It's hard to explain. There was a communication to me in my head when I wondered why my life looked like a loaf of bread, that all realities are existing at the same time and that random objects in one, like a carton of milk in a grocery store, could be pieces of entities or even experiences in another time or dimension. An experience that happens to you in the third dimension could actually be a manifestation of a being in a higher dimension. There were entities. And between the fractals of images of realities, there were rainbow bands where realities kinds of meshed. I focused on those, and in between there were black areas where no realities existed. In between areas, I guess. And these were entities that became aware of me when I focused on their space. They seemed interested that I was there, I guess. More surprised in a completely uncaring way, like, oh, hey, what's he doing there? That's kind of weird. Whatever. I started to freak out and all the realities around me started to become altered by my fear. Really scary shit started appearing, like evil demon faces that started biting me. The entity sort of nonchalantly told me that I will manifest whatever I'm feeling. Eventually, I decided that I wanted to go back into my reality. I tried to find the one that I fell out of when I died, but I wasn't exactly sure which one it was. 
I chose the one that I recognized a close friend of mine in and was looking at me sad. I went in and that's when I woke up. No transition. Just like I got close to the 2D image of my last viewpoint before dying and it wrapped around me and I was there alive again seeing the inside the head view that I saw before I was dying. It took me about 5 minutes to even understand if I was actually alive again or if what I just experienced was a transition to the afterlife. Sorry if this made no sense. I know it sounds effing bonkers, but maybe it was just chemicals in my head that created all the visuals. I'm not sure. I still think about it every day and I no longer have a fear of death because of it. Now wasn't that interesting? I think it's absolutely fascinating. If you compare this story to last week's story with the sorting wheel, you will realize that both people had the chance to choose one of the different timelines. Both explained that some were vastly different from the life they had experienced before and some were very similar. Unfortunately in the story we don't know how that person passed but still that person's friend was looking at them with a sad face. So I assume it was nothing like being shot, it was more probably like some kind of a heart attack. Something that he experienced within that group of people that then all were worried and freaking out around him. But instead of dying, I assume that the person now just could get up and go on with their life. So this account, we do have another story that talks about quantum immortality. And as I said before, we have to drop the old belief of reincarnation because everything does hint at everything is happening in the now, just like Neville Goddard already said, creation is finished. Every possible timeline already is finished, already has been programmed and we are experiencing all of them. So this person experienced dying and then also experienced how the same situation would play out if it wouldn't result in death. And he got a second chance to move ahead with his life. But still he received the gift of knowing that there is more out there. And as he says, he was no longer scared of death. Why? Because death is not real, it's just an illusion. And when we die, we just go back in time, sometimes just a little bit, sometimes maybe even way back to childhood, and we always get our second and third and infinite chance. Another thing I want to address is that, different from the other story with the sorting wheel, this man, he did see some entities on the other side. But what is important to point out is, everyone and everything is us pushed out so i believe that those entities are also part of ourselves there is only our consciousness and the moment he got scared those entities changed into some kind of demons that tried to attack him this also shows the power we have he in that moment created something completely different but when we say created i actually mean to say choose because everything already is created. So he even created that out-of-body experience where there were those good entities and then those evil entities and in that moment where something within changed, his consciousness changed, the fear came up and he focused on what he was scared of, he changed to a timeline outside of the physical experience where those entities attacked him but in that moment he said it specifically when he decided to want to go back to his life in that moment that decision was made he got to choose to go back so we do create everything and again by creating i mean we choose out of all of the infinite possibilities that already exist it also shows that when we are on this other side, let's say the 5D, the energetical realm, manifestation is instant. In our 3D life, it may take sometimes just seconds, sometimes a little bit longer, sometimes a lot longer, depending on where we are, mainly with our consciousness, in the already having it or in the it not being there. Our dominant assumption is always the one that is getting projected. If you have seen the movie Matrix, this is what it reminds me of. There is this room outside of the Matrix, a white room, and they can make everything appear in there. In that movie, it is, for example, weapons. 
And we can use that to manifest by going to the other side and we don't have to leave our body really behind and die. We can do that, for example, by meditation to go on that side and then actively create on that side. Do your sats, you know, your state akin to sleep. Create something in that realm and it will be instant in that moment because in that moment you may be able to see it or hear it or just have a sense of it being there. It doesn't really matter how you experience it, but in that moment you experience it and the experience is real. And if that turns your dominant assumption, then you can bring that into your 3D life. So I thought it was also interesting to see that he was on that other side and that he made the experience of instant creation. The beings that did not care about him and then the ones who attacked him. And then he created coming back. But again, by creating, I mean choosing. But I still like to say creating. So let me know what you think about today's story. Please comment, like, subscribe if you haven't yet. Share the story. Please help me grow my channel. Also, of course, I am a Law of Assumption coach and I do have almost 20 years of experience. So please check out my other content and you can book a personal coaching with me. Please also check out my new channel, Janine Nicole, Robotic Affirmations and Subliminal, because my videos there will help you to reprogram your mind to manifest anything you desire, because we do not have to die to change to another track, another timeline. We can learn to do it consciously if we just reprogram our self-concept. And I can help you with that. So I see you in my other channel, my other videos, my comments, or in personal coaching. Until then, I do wish you all the best now. Bye-bye. If you want to book your own custom-made affirmation or subliminal, you will find my contact information in the description box below.